how to overcome all of your obstacles, your weaknesses and your conflicts by adopting a new character. Hi, my name is Guru Pashupati. I'm the lineage authority of a very ancient school of yoga called Triloka Khada. When we say someone has a bad character, it means for a given situation, their response is unsavory or bad or causes despair and pain to others. If a good character had been given the same situation, then they would have handled it in a way that everybody got some kind of relief, pleasure, happiness, joy. So that's the difference between a good character and a bad character. All of the obstacles, all of the problems that you have, all of the weaknesses and all of the conflicts that you have can be handled in a better way if you changed your character. First of all, you have to decide what is most precious for you in life. The character's story becomes around that precious object. It becomes about growing it, protecting it, nurturing it, or making it abundant, whatever that may be. So in my case, I really value my happiness. I value it so much that I want to protect it. I want to grow it. I want to nurture it. And I want to make it abundant. And I want to spread it to everyone around me so that for miles around me, people are happy. This is what I really want. It may sound strange, but that's really what I want. So when I want that, then that's my character. And that's the story that I'm involved in. How humanity becomes happy again is the story that I'm involved in. I realize I have to adopt a certain character for this. Will this be possible by a character who is weak? Will this be possible by a character who gets stopped whenever there are obstacles? I want to be the kind of character who is not stopped even if everybody else is stopped. I'm going to figure out a way out of it. So that's how I have built my character. How did I do this? I just wrote it out on a book. How will I respond to conflicts? What, what does my character wear? What's the physical appearance of my character? I just took a template which is available online. You can search for a writer's template for building a character and you'll find many templates. So I took one of those templates. You can also ask ChatGPT to make one for you. And you take one of those and then you start filling in every detail very carefully, especially the relationship the character has with other key characters in the story. If the character has conflicts, then the character should have uh, virtues and powers to overcome that conflict and then get back onto moving towards his goal or her goal. The character has the same weaknesses, the same obstacles and the same conflicts that you have right now in your life. But the character is able to overcome all of that. What kind of character would be able to do that? Write it down. Your brain will start admiring this new character that you only have created and the brain will say, I want that. I want to be that character. So now I'm going to read to you a list of main characters that most writers use and you can use any one of them, whichever appeals to you. The hero. This is one of the most common archetypes for a main character. The hero embodies bravery. But the everyman, the everyman is a kind of character who's who's a common individual. They are typically ordinary and often get thrown into extraordinary circumstances and then they shine. Okay. So you're very relatable to everybody else. The innocent, this archetype often marks a main character who is unspoiled by the world. They may be naive initially with a lot of room for development and growth, but they see things as a, a child would see them, like really simple. The outsider or the orphan is a character who is separated from society due to an unusual upbringing or circumstances. They often bring a unique perspective and their journey can involve finding acceptance and changing the society that once rejected them. So if you've been rejected by society, then this is a very good option for you to go with. The explorer. And the explorer is a character driven by the idea of new experiences and self-discovery. Usually through physical travel, exploration, or maybe even through research and getting into uh, exploring the nature of things. Okay, So I have a bit of the explorer in me. The rebel. This character goes against the rules, often challenging the status quo. The story can revolve in the, around a fight against the system. I have this too. I have some serious objections to some of the systems, the medical system, the education system, and so many other systems that I see around me. I think uh, I can imagine a better way to do these things. So then there's a bit of the rebel inside me as well. Now, the anti-hero is a protagonist who lacks... Uh, the conventional uh, heroic qualities, okay? So this is a person who doesn't have idealism, doesn't have bravery, 
they have a troubled past, the morality is not too clean and their decisions are often in a morally grey area, they have ego and you know, so even they can be a hero because they finally reach their destination. Uh, but I don't have any anti-hero in me, I'm not interested in that, it's too much work, okay. So the fool or the jester is a character often underestimated due to their unconventional or uh, comedic outlook. And they can provide moments of relief that can often surprise other characters and audiences with unforeseen wisdom. So I have a bit of the fool jester inside me too. I like this character. It's really great. Okay. So these are uh, eight base models and you can take parts of these into your character. You can add more if you want. And if you create a character that is able to face your same situation, your same obstacles, your same conflicts and your same weaknesses, but is able to come out in a heroic way and go after what they want, then you're going to make a wonderful life ahead. If you like the video so far, go ahead and follow me. These are the powers of the immortal Jiva that we are. And the jiva has the, its main power as building its own character. If we are able to build our own character, then the pulsations that go out, which is the second power of the jiva, to send pulsations out in, form, in the form of words, in the form of visuals, in the form of uh, smells, tastes, sounds, these pulsations create a reality according to the Upanishads. So if you have a strong character, you'll have stable pulsations and you'll have a very good life. You'll have a life that is fulfilling, joyful and happy, healthy, wealthy, whatever you want in it. If you want to learn more about these things, then I am having a master class on the 6th of August. And if you want to attend that, that's called Siddha Creator Secrets, where I'm getting into the secrets of building character and building pulsations, what exactly it is, what it does. It's a 45 minute class. If you want to be a part of that, jump into the WhatsApp group that's linked in my bio uh, on Instagram, Guru Pashupati. Now, once you're in the WhatsApp group, just wait. It's a no spam WhatsApp group. I will send you the details in August of how you can attend this class, which will be on for a period of just 24 hours. So make sure that you have 45 minutes anytime during the 24 hours of August 6th. If you think this video is going to be useful to others, please share it. And if you think it's going to be useful to you, please save it.